Hey there, and welcome back to the Train of Thought, an educational monster train series where we fight the divinity in every run. I have not recorded a late night monster train in a while, but in sort of a weird twist, my SO went to sleep and I was thinking to myself, all right, you know what? I'm feeling like playing the game, so let's get in and do some work here, make some headway for the next week. What I really wanted to talk about for my intro is there's a sometimes I give you random game reviews because I'm always playing something else besides all the roguelike deck builders and stuff right and right now I've been playing I'm sure you've all heard of it the game is called Outer Wilds it is specifically the you know BAFTA award winner the exploration game in space uh, not the other one that has a similar name and came out the same year and you know it's it's interesting because the game is fine but I've quickly realized that I think a lot of the things that the game does fall flat with me. There's a lot of suspension of disbelief for someone who understands basic space physics that is required in the game. And it really, you know, bungles some of the more complex things that they identify that are that exist in real life, right? Like quantum mechanics. There's a lot of uh, oversimplifications. And I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the way that it kind of interacts with those things. I don't want to go into too many details besides saying that these things are topics in the game simply because I don't want to accidentally spoil it. I do think that it's an important game that if you're going to play it and haven't yet, that you experience it for the first time yourself so i mean i don't think it spoils anything to say that it's in space and has some physics about it right you can see that on the steam page so no one's going to be bothered by that but i'm not a huge fan of the uh everything that kind of panned out i've, I've beaten the game at this point and i'm kind of just playing it for achievements right now and i don't know it, it fell a little flat for me i was expecting something a little more impactful and you know if i'm being honest with you i'd probably give it like a six or seven out of ten at best so it's kind of a weird thing i suppose i think what's happening is just that i deal with these things these topics in real life a lot and so i'm used to how they really behave and i struggle with the suspension of disbelief of the game i don't know i also don't think the story is particularly compelling for me but i think it might be a stronger story if none of the physics makes any sense and you're kind of just absorbing it you know so i think for a more casual gamer who's you know still be like a kid or a teenager or something it's going to be a little it's going to hit a little harder it's going to be a little more interesting and unique for them so uh, there's my there's my review of outer wilds maybe a hot take i'm sure that a lot of players love that game i mean in fact i'm certain a lot of players do it got like game of the year from a lot of venues i'm just i'm just a little bit disappointed i don't know it's weird and you know what? Not every game is going to land for everyone. It's just the way of things, right? So it's okay, right? I think that's fine. Anyway, let's play some Monster Train, because that is a game that does hit for me. Is that correct? Yeah, oh, that's correct. Great. All right, let's play some Monster Train. What the heck did we do last time? We're on a 255 win streak. Our last run was with Windleton. This was a very bizarre run because I think, as my notes say, Morsels ended up killing Seraph because I definitely sped through Seraph a little faster than I should have because I took too many shards, there was too many stealth stacks, I underestimated survivability on our uh, Awoken Hollow, uh, not Awoken Hollow, our Thorned Hollow in Relentless. I could have very easily solved this problem by just playing Void Bindings, which I was relying on in a different order right putting them in the front as opposed to the back so that by the time the thorn hollow actually attacked or the stealth had ended i would be able for him to actually hit and use the immortal trades to keep himself afloat right so i didn't really i didn't respect seraph enough and ultimately we got by by relying on void bindings on morsels to kill him not something i have to do very often it was a little dicey i was actually worried i was like oh no did i just throw my win streak by going too fast but we pulled it off uh, I actually in the episode i'm pretty sure i was like ah, i never didn't have it but there was a moment where i paused and said hey wait did i throw and that was actually kind of scary so I'm going to try my best not to throw. There's definitely a downside to recording those bright and early in the morning because, you know, I'm not exactly thinking straight. 
uh, as much as I should be. It's still, you know, it's entertaining and it's a good episode. I'm actually a big fan of it, but it's a it's just an interesting moment where it's like, all right, you know what? Let the, let's record the next one at a more reasonable hour when I'm certainly awake. The core of the run though was Thornlord One with Strangler Two. We had a, a very bizarrely used edge prior infused in a shard channeler. I almost never use something like that, but it totally worked. We had, yeah, it was Crucible Collector with a plus 25 and Damage Shield 3, all of that into Thorned Hollow. We had triple copies of minus one holdover plus 10 and Graft, which was wild to see. And what else was there? I think that's kind of it. I think we ended up with a minus one, minus one focus growth in there as well with holdover. So we were really, despite having Thorn Lord, we pumped out a lot of rejuvenate triggers. So pretty good. And yeah, I think that's all that was in that one. So, I mean, a good episode all the same. Now we're moving on to Soul Guard, which should be fun. And yeah, Heck yeah, let's do it. So as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see what we get today. Yep, all looks good. Let's do it. Ooh, buddy, I had, you know, I was calling it in my head. I was hoping for it and I, we got it. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm feeling pretty good. It's a, it's been a long week already. It's like Tuesday for me. And I know you're not watching this on a Tuesday, but it's been a long week already and it's only two days in. So that's, that's a bit of a bummer, but eh, it is work, right? It's how work goes. So Anyway, hopefully you're doing awesome. That would be awesome to hear. And let's play some Monster Train. So today we are Exile Stygian, Exile Awoken, a fantastic clan combo. Pretty much the dream for incanting. We are fighting Double Barrel Daedalus, Spell Shield Arcus, and Sap Seraph with Energy Siphon, Glimmer, and Ice Storm. A good opener. Ice Storm competes a little with Glimmer as far as upgrades go, right? We're looking for plus 30 in Glimmers primarily. Uh, interestingly, this is not an ideal cold channel run, but it could be if we see enough buffs to these heals. And mostly that's because we have root seeds. We're looking, we're very much looking for Titan channel here. So that's there's that. Now, Energy Siphon is not a good card, but it's not the worst card. We at least do have some spells that can take advantage of it with upgrades. So hopefully we can get some value out of it. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. Temples today are on... Two, three, four, and seven, and eight. Five temples. That's a lot to have for a, what is it, a train of thought. I don't need to go very hard on shards. Now, I could, of course, and I'll take what shards make sense, but very interestingly, we have a lot of flexibility here if our run ends up weak. We have a removal dupe on steel side on eight. Fantastic. We like to see it. If I need the steel shop, great, but just having removal dupe is strong no matter what. Steel shop, no magic on seven. There's a hell vent with a cave. Okay, Steel Shop does have a Vortex. Both are strong. Steel and Magic on 6. Magic has Money and a Cave. The Steel Shop has a Vortex and Horde. That's really strong. A lot of good Steel Shops here, which is promising for getting our guys upgraded. We are going to be looking maybe for a Holdover if I end up on the plus 30 Glimmer route. We have a lot of Temples to find it. It's going to depend on what they show us, but we have the tools. So there's that. Ring 5 has... I'm not sure I love this. It's Vortex Trinket Shop. We'll have to be pretty rich. There's no money on that side. The, alternatively, we have a magic shop with kind of weak with health and money. We'll see. Right? No steel, but both of these are kind of iffy. I don't know if we're going to get the cash to actually spend on Merchant of Trinkets here, but who knows? We are missing another magic shop, which means we get doubles early. Makes sense. Ring 4 has that steel shop. Vortex, again, another good steel shop. Competes with a Hellvent Awoken banner. Going to depend a lot on what we need for infusions. Or what our blind is, I suppose. We might need that banner. And then we have double magics. The steel shop on 2 has a Stygian banner. And we have a, a Horschel's Horde with a Stygian banner on 3. So that's pretty good. A lot of Stygian banners. It's actually what we're looking for, if I'm being clear. So... See what we roll into. Sinner Salve. It's going to be useful, but there's no guarantee it's that useful. At this is scales is okay. We could end up using that pretty decently. I actually kind of like Sinner Salve better. Being able to manage energy a little bit on some of those energy hungry combats could be great. That's more root seeds potentially. It has value, right? We could still see Penitent on 7, or Absolvers on 4, Chains on 1. 
I don't know, maybe the Tethys' scales is better? I feel like I've been in this exact situation before. I'm getting deja vu, and I think I justified Sinner Salve to myself and people gave me dirt for it, because it's not that impactful here, right? But Tethys' scales is also, in my opinion, not that impactful. Now it might be okay, right? If we end up with a plus 30, we could really do some damage with this. Maybe I just take the Tethys scales. Yeah, all right, you've convinced me. Let's do it. Dark Forge says, all right, Titan Channel, fantastic. That's what we're hoping for here. I didn't want to get stuck with a cold channel. And we're definitely, I think, strong enough with the Glimmers and the Ice Storm to take on a Divine Horde here. Orn Casing, first Hell Pact and Guild Marker. This is the best time to get Guild Marker because it makes money very efficient for us it makes that you know that late game trinket shop i was talking about a lot more accessible first hell pact of course opens up infinites very across the board with the woken's rail spike we might not see any of them though right there's only two cards that could even show up in clan packs that are x cost and they're both rares thorn casing is likely to find value stings are generally good here but I think I'm going with Guild Marker. It's early, and this is going to represent a lot of value for me. This is removals. This is deck cleanup. Just generally good for... Really good at this point of the run when we're strong enough to absorb this impact. Right? Because this doesn't do anything for us in Ring 1 at all. But that's okay. I'm going to take the Mark of Invasion here. Soul Guard's never at risk, and we're liable to eat dirt a little bit, but I'm willing to trade here, and I'm confident we're not going to lose the combat. I realize first defense you can get, yeah, you get big upgraded, man, but I'm not really worried about it. We're actually in a really good spot as far as, like, the Ice Storm up here goes, right? I can actually play that out and avoid a lot of damage here, which is fantastic. Now, I would like to kill a guy on middle, Seems good. Give me a Glimmer, please. Ah, oh, no Glimmer. Bummer. So we actually trade Mark of Invasion for the, what is it? For the Collector here. This is something that can happen, right? But I had the draws that I was hopeful I would see, you know, something. But we just didn't here. Anyway, I can very easily buff Root Seeds and then Forgone Power to pop Soul Guard. This will prevent me from losing in the front, which is good. Right, this swings it, and we get two kills. We only take one damage to the fire in exchange for 25 gold, essentially. So there's that. Now, this is a lot of damage to eat. I'm not a big fan of it, but we do clear this guy, right? Because of the 45 damage up front. Let's go ahead and glimmer middle to clear that damage. The rest of this really doesn't matter, right? It's like, why even bother? Sure, click cards, I guess. And there's a lot of damage coming in. I'm looking for another glimmer here. I actually, we're guaranteed if I play these root seeds to draw well. So let's actually go for the glimmer up top here and then foregone power the boss and we're chilling. Yes, as long as I, yeah, ice storm here, fantastic. Play out the rest of this, nothing too concerning here. The frostbite combined with everything else, we easily get the win. Great job. All right, cool. It's clicking cards because it's neat to do it. All right, we take one damage. We end up 25 gold ahead. We could have seen both the Collector and the Trial, so I'm not mad about it, but, you know, it could have been better. It's fine. Skipping Ice Tornado, Titan's Gratitude, Energy Siphon. We have good spells. I don't need more. These are all kind of weh. Not great. Weh. Razor Sharp Edge, Snap Click. There's a Sting if I had taken the Sting option. Bramble Lash if I'm feeling, feeling spicy. But it's going to be the Razor Sharp Edge 10 times out of 10. I want a Stygian Unit. Yes. Endless plus 25. Brother, give me shark. Yes, I will take shark here because these upgrades are disgusting. What, what? They're so good. I would have taken the siren there all oh, very easily, but getting an upgraded shark right now hard carries our early game. I'm going to go ahead and take glimmer. I know what you're thinking. Hey, buddy, isn't the plus 30 glimmer redundant with shark it's just wave clear which i'm fine with we'll take this we can be quite aggressive and then what i purge a foregone power i'd be a little bit aggressive here i'm okay with it we're very strong right now i have a fully upgraded shark they gave it to me take this unit draft i have no fear shark will carry a lot of this now i could do shark middle right 
Shark middle guarantees collector middle, but because I took... I want to elevator this guy, yeah? I could also theoretically play them together. It's not a bad idea. Playing them together means I can actually buff Soul Guard here, which perhaps is important. Let's go ahead and just greed a little bit on this one. We'll incant upstairs. I think we can do it, right? Yeah, we get the collector for this, which is nice. I'm actually going to just blow up this floor, thanks to the glimmer, I think. Am I? We have an upgraded foot soldier middle. How many hits is this? One, two, three. It's nine. Nine, six. Nine, six. Nine. Shark. He's only. He's not fully upgraded. I wonder. I mean, because the way you're going to do this, we always go train steward up top. Root seeds up top. So we have double incants. I'm going to end with a foregone power up top. I think we're guaranteed. To, we're guaranteed to see a spell next turn. So we can pop one, pop two. I think you get, I think the priest walks on you here. Now, I think if I go glimmer bottom, I think we're going to glimmer middle here. Yeah, I'm going to, I've done this lock in. Now, the reason we're doing that, in my opinion, is because we can bring this shark back. I'm not afraid of that at all. Right? No fear. Do you have our ice storm here? I don't think so. It's not a good likelihood you actually hit anything useful. I'd rather root seeds and then... What? I guess foregone power, middle? Give that guy some frostbite? That's okay. Okay, now I do draw a glimmer here. So... If I put an energy... I know this is crazy. Put an energy siphon there, we actually pop the really scary guy here, which is fantastic. And then we clear the floor, which is also fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and energy siphon, I guess, downstairs. Now, 7-5, seven, 7-5. Five, seven, five. Okay, we should have enough damage middle. 7-5, like 12, 3 times around, 6 hits, so 18 frostbite. Yeah, we easily kill the foot soldier in backline here. I was saying we could offensive razor sharp, but instead what I would prefer is to offensive razor sharp upstairs. Aha, behold, my strength. And then I'm actually going to buff middle. I don't feel like taking more damage upstairs. We are going to foregone power to burn it, and we're chilling. Great. Now, mid floor should completely blast here. It's great. Big fan. This guy's doing, what, 7? Stay at 28. Stay at 28, you're in good shape here, right? Yeah. All right, fine. 7-5, seven, 7-5. Five, seven, five. Razor sharp, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. And then, what, send it? Fair enough. Good enough for me. This guy doesn't stand a chance. I don't know why I'm overthinking it. The guy just pummels him here. It's good. All right, end turn. Good. We get everything. We take no damage. Fantastic news. Big fan. Crypt Builder, Mollusk Mage, Titan's Gratitude. Eh, they're fine. Nothing stands out to me here in a big way. Crypt Builder is like a good card. We could take it. If I see another plus 30, I'm putting it in Ice Storm. If I see a Tendon Piercing, I'm putting it there as well. I want to hold out for the holdover on the glimmer there's just a lot of competition for upgrades here now you could say hey but dusk what about minus twos fair point minus two is not bad but i also could just skip the minus two i don't have to get it i don't think this adds enough value for me to want to do that right it's okay but we skip it's fine you could talk yourself into that and that's fine too steel enhancer is a good card when you have baked in card draw if you're overdrawing right it's a good incant i like it quite a bit here sting is fine but eh, i think steel enhancer will provide more value especially if i rely any on the what is it the razor sharp edge is it ever shattered shell shattered shell feels a little aggro how do you keep him alive I think I'm going to take second shark and then do this infusion on ring three and the guy completely blasts. It's just, it's something I'm going to want anyway, right? Shell is fine. I'm looking for a more sireny line. I already skipped one, but I think it's okay. Magic shop. What if I just look for a siren now? Is that better? Might be. There's a lot of value in a magic shop if I hit a holdover. Minus ones are good too. These are high power minus ones, right? Seeing a siren, though, would be pretty cool. 
If you miss, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think we lose much by going for this magic shop, right? No, it's not terrible. All right, let's go. Let's go hunt the siren. I think that's fine. If we end up on like something else, like a nameless siren, it's good, right? It's okay. Minus two. They showed it to me. Intrinsic fair. Light's gift. Oh my gosh, that's really strong on this run. Absolutely take that. And we get beautiful. I couldn't have asked for better. Siren of the Sea is pretty much perfect. Our floor is defensible. Our line is strong. Shark is going mad with power here. I mean, there's very little I'm going to say no to from this perspective. We're feeling good. Trinsic. I don't think so. Minus two. I mean, at this point, you're going to minus two the razor sharp edge because it's a good spell chain target then. By It's fine, I think. I'm trying to think if there's anything else they could show me. If I see hope for peace here, I would be happy to have saved the... Yeah, if I see hope for peace, saving the minus two is right. Dude, end up with like a... The damage shield guy. Thy holiest shield with a minus two is a good opener. Yeah, so I think we hold off. It's not like I'm going to X5 that anyway. If they show me an X5, I'm just slamming it into the glimmer here. So I think that's fine. Let's go for cave. Purge a unit, get an upgraded version later. Purge a spell, get an upgraded version later. What do I want to clone? Anything? None of these are terribly good. Duplicating root seeds would be kind of funny. It is a funny option. I think it's actually just correct to throw a root seeds at this. Because if it gets spreading root seeds, they replace themselves, but they're good incants. And it gets it becomes free. Sure, I'm going to throw a root seeds at it. It's not very inspiring, but it's fine. It's better than the alternatives of throwing a train steward for a temporary removal and you have to cut it anyway. So, not a big deal. I'm going to minus two the razor sharp edge here. I think it's fine. We're at 80 shards. I'm not mad about it. That's okay. We're very strong. The shark pretty much 1v1s Daedalus. Also probably 1v1s rings 4 and 5. So, whatever. Yeah, here you go. Cool, 42 Frostbite, clearing the floor out, seems good. Really good roll as far as getting the Siren on this turn as well. We do need to be careful about making sure I don't get completely destroyed upstairs. Uh, I was a little worried for a second but with the double barrel, but I'm actually super okay thanks to the Light's Gift. Hard carries, absolutely. And then we just drop three train stewards here and chill. Cool, great. Meanwhile, Shark is out of control, too powerful, and what? I guess we're just going to load up some stuff and then hope for the best on the incants. These train stewards, they need to go, and that's okay, right? Ooh, what a good bottom floor, huh? Wow. You know, I actually think the, sight, the Titan Sentry getting hit is worth more than the plus 30 glimmer into the boss. So what we're going to do is we're going to just blow up mid-floor and then everything else gets played up here for the incants and we chill, right? The whole train is cleared and we have 80 Frostbite on... 80 Frostbite on your boy, which is fantastic. I don't even want to play the Ice Storm. Get that... I'm going to hit that plus 30 glimmer again and completely Shadow Realm him, huh? Yeah, here you go. Well, bam. Hey, look, we win on bottom floor. I don't even need to click cards. It's over. Shark, like I said, the shark 1v1s this boss. I didn't even need anything else. He's really good, it turns out. Now, Siren Song is a fantastic card. We're playing top floor. That will mitigate the divinity, which is important. And if an enemy walks up and we use it on that turn, he's already got the one days from Light Skip, gets another three. I like it. Big fan. Good, great. Husk Hermit, Awoken Hollow, Titan Sentry. If I need to, I will dupe Self-Infuse here at some point. I don't think I need to do it right now. I'm going to go to the Steel Shop, start looking there. I don't think these are it, right? Titan Sentry, Awoken Hollow, Husk Hermit. No, we're fine. Skip it. Card draw? Ember. I actually think it's definitely Ember here. Yeah, we're going to... A lot of things are cheap, but we're going to quickly want the replay. You know, Titan Sentry is going to need to be replayed. we got to play these Root Seeds. We're going to need to pay an Ember Tax. It's not even a tax, really. It's just a good idea for this setup. We go right. Easy choice. Looking for a Spell Chain? No? Minus two? I guess I could do that and look for a double stack. 
I'm gonna cut two train stewards. They're pretty rough. They're always pretty rough on these kinds of runs. Getting rid of them is good. We're going Titan Channel 2. Of course, I don't want to click any of the other ones. Merchant of Steel, quick. Tenon Spikes, no, we're gonna spin that. Hey baby, multi-strike on my siren is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Great pickups. Now I'm going to this magic shop coming up. Even though I have the guild marker, I don't want to go trinket shop because there's a lot of things I could see from the magic side, right? Think about this. We come in here. I'm going to go ahead and pick minus two on Siren Song. This does a few things. It means my next magic shop, I can take a double stack on this and it's free six days loaded. Absolutely nuts. It also means I can take a holdover on the Glimmer. Fantastic. Big fan. So two things are strong there, right? And we can still take a spell chain later on Razor Sharp Edge. Although it would also be fine on Siren Song too if we wanted to go that route. But I think I would do the Razor Sharp because the opportunity cost is better there, right? And that's because Double Stack exists and works for Siren Song. It's essentially the same thing. You can't Double Stack Razor Sharp Edge, etc., etc. Yeah, we do this. I'm going to stay sub 100 here. Am I? I got to think about this. Ice Storm gives a 10 in piercing. It's actually pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and click that, actually. Load this up. This is greedy, and it's spicy, right? Because this means that your friend, oof, your buddy is going to be chilling at a cool three, mold, three hits if we roll into him. If I'm going to do that, I think I'm going to pay a train steward removal tax here, cut one of them. And then move on, just so I'm a little more efficient. Yeah, alright. Let's greed. I think the real thing that makes this possible is Light's Gift here. That's the real thing. So, big fan of that. Blast downstairs, it's pretty decent. Get rid of a train steward here, it's fine. Alright, sure. Play the cards we need to play. I'm going to go ahead and Titan Sentry middle here to get the Collector. I think that's worth it. Oof, what an upgraded set here. Spicy. Alright, we do need to incant up here. I know we're going to leak a guy here. It's a bit of a bummer. He hits me once. It's fine, I think. I am expecting... Yeah, I'm expecting us to... Man, this is a scary set of floors, huh? Alright, you should kill... Yeah, you should, I was going to say you should kill here. I think that's accurate. I'm looking for buffs on this one. We actually managed to do an okay job here. Guy in the back is going to pummel me a bit. But it's okay. Okay, we're going to absolutely titan sentry the heck out of elevator here i'm gonna blow this man upstairs up i think right energy siphon energy siphon full send this also heals my guy in the back frostbite the boss i think it matters dude has 30 regen which is pretty wild to me what am i drawing into i'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the big spell then frostbite him here. Yeah, we're fine. I actually get it in one, which is kind of crazy. I didn't expect that, but we did. We take a little bit of damage. And to be fair, I deserve it. Icicle fracture? Sure, why not? Seems okay. I ate a little bit of dirt there. We're going to take crystalline seeds. I think this is a good incant in general. I'm a big fan. I'm going to rely on the siren songs here for divinity i don't want to go in on saps crystalline seeds is good ensnare is absolutely a click although actually preserved thorns is so good here four incans for the price of one yeah it's so good here what did i get money i'm gonna wait until he makes it free go ahead and make that free and give me 35 gold i like it hold on to that champ there's an argument to take that first if you can actually play it fast, but I'm actually glad we're going left here for the magic shop because I do want that health here. We're being a little aggro, so holdover is pretty awesome. That is a big glimmer play. Yeah, we love that. 
Minus one, first minus one of the day. Root Seeds, of course, a plus 10. Ice Storm, I'm gonna put this on other Glimmer. Actually, I don't think I need that, right? Look at the Horde real fast. A Winged Steel, yes. Gnarled Root, Kinstone Totem, they're not bad. I mean, the Kinstone Totem plays nice with foregone powers, but I'm just gonna go Winged Steel here. More cards, more better, basically. Spin this, Permafrost. Is there a permafrost target? No, there's not. Minus one goes into the root seeds. Yes. 20 consume. Honestly, 20 consume this other glimmer is perfect use for this. I have the holdover, right? True. What's coming up? Got another magic shop? They do. Magic shop, double money. I would like a incant armor two at some point. Right, we're going to this removal dupe at the end. So part of the issue we're facing, I think I need to go dupe on ring seven, which means I need to go steel shop next. Possibly, there is a steel shop in the path at the end. The thought is I need to dupe the siren to self-infuse it. And then I need to dupe that self-infused siren and we're gonna take space here. And that's a pretty good play, I think. So with that in mind, with double money though, we can already re-roll that shop. So I should really be investing hard here. What if you cut an energy siphon? This, this spell is kind of bad. Can't play it on my floor the way I want to. Yeah, I'm actually gonna drop one of those. We're at the point where the one train steward is not cluttering my deck in any meaningful way. So I kind of don't care. Arc of Invasion, it's a great pickup. We're probably leaking a little, but I don't really care that much. Actually, we might be fine. Well, we're gonna take what, six damage here? It'll have to be okay, right? Yeah, bummer. And then you shark middle simply because it guarantees collector, which is nice. And then I, Orgon power. We do want to incant upstairs. Yeah, six damage is a bit of a bummer, but it's okay, right? It's a fine trade, I think. We buff out, hey, Siren Song, cool, I'll click it. I'm gonna get a train steward shot first here, I think. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. Oh no, they don't die, but it's fine because of everything else, right? Let's crystalline seeds mid floor. Actually, hold up, we, not, we need to up go upstairs for sure. Absolutely, we go upstairs. Ah, ice storm, that's pretty nice. I can glimmer middle then, which is a big win. Huge swing here, right? Because he doesn't die. Ice Storm, Ice Storm Middle, yeah, cool. Then we will, I mean, I'll Crystalline Seeds some other floor, I don't really care. We're fine, yeah, we pop it upstairs, we're chilling, right? I need to Elevator Shark into Relentless, it's actually very important. So, you Glimmer here, I'm a big fan of that. I'm gonna go ahead and Preserve Thorns. Sting, 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 it's good. Do I take two damage and click the Siren Song? Probably not. So what you do is I think we let Shark die and we put him bottom floor. So I'm gonna Glimmer bottom floor here to open up that business. Then I go and we click all the other cards up here. We wanna incant hard. And then we actually, oh yeah, Root Seeds. Huh, <laughs> sticks around, Icicle Fracture, go team. Bottom floor, we remember it's Crystal Cloak, yeah? We respect Crystal Cloak in this household. Very important. Hold on to Glimmer here. All right, perfect, right? Perfect, good scaling, great. All right, bottom floor. Got that spell weakness hit, which is pretty nice. It's a big swing here, yeah, great. Wonderful, fantastic. Upstairs, we completely blow this up. I'm not afraid at all. Do I incant here? 30 incants, feeling good about that. If I just hit this boss for 50. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put some frostbite on the boss, make these numbers bigger, I think. Yeah, I wanna try to respect the boss, and I think we're gonna need to, right? Oh, that's nice. There we go, all right, now we're cooking, yeah. Frostbite here, 265, great news. Gets through all but one stack of stealth, which is good. We get the W here for sure. Cool. We actually managed to kill this with Frostbite here, which is fun. Like that for me. Six damage taken, I'm not afraid of that. Seems okay. 
Urchin Spines. Not a bad pickup for the Glimmer turns, right? Makes that into an Inferno, which is kind of fun. There will be turns where that kind of thing matters. It's a good card. This is actually also a good run for this. We have a lot of spell power. Let's take the Urchin Spines. Nice addition, in my opinion. Cycle of Life. Now, there's a minus two target if I've seen one, right? Plus 10 HP is big. Let's take that. I think this is a good run for it. I have the opportunity to upgrade here. And we get big money root seeds. That's free, which is fantastic. Not Never mad about that. Now, do I need to go removals and steel shop? I don't have to. I don't have to is the thing, right? We dupe on ring seven. We take space on Arcus. Because we get the steel shop on eight, where we actually do the dupe for the floor the final floor and that's when we want to have the incant armor 2 or the plus 25 in the worst of cases we could do another magic shop which is probably worth it seeing another chance at say the double stack would be pretty cool minus ones are big value yeah we'll go left here i'm actually okay with this yeah double stack maybe remove consume Eh, no not that. 20 consume? I don't think so. Minus one. What's in the middle here? More money. I'm willing to put a minus one in Cycle of Life so that it's more playable now, and then we'll just wait for the minus two. And if we never see it, I'll still play it at two cost. That's okay. This just makes it a little more accessible. Spin this. All right, we actually don't run into the good cards here, which is a bit of a bummer. I'll hold out for a spell chain on Siren Song now. I'm a little more inclined for that. We'll take a minus one here onto Root Seeds again. Bio removal. Are you okay leaving in one energy siphon? It's not the worst card. I actually think we could cut down a foregone power now if we're looking to do that. But getting rid of the train steward is probably better for speeding up our early game. Yeah, I'll drop the Train Steward. I think you could easily argue yourself into a foregone power. The difference here is minor, right? These are likely to discard each other. I don't think the energy... I think one energy siphon with our deck is okay. It's unlikely to be the reason we falter. So I'm going to cut that Train Steward here. Permafrost. Is it ever a permafrost anywhere? You could argue you permafrost the Siren Song. I would disagree. I mean, we could save it for a critical turn, but honestly, just send it when you draw it in the worst of cases i'm looking for like an intrinsic on that so fine and we can i mean we can't dupe it i don't think i guess you could it's an option i'd really want a second siren that's self-infused though hmm and with shark i mean yeah all right caverns here it's fine oh wow i didn't expect that Huh. You know, I know what you're thinking. Thunderstone. Thunderstone is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But I, I think it's wrong to not take defensive play here. Like, genuinely, I think it's wrong. And what do I actually think about greater good? Huh? Upgrade a unit. So I could go sapstone. And that's a decent damage reduction, right? That's minus eight, minus six, minus four, minus two, which is what, 16, 20, 20, it's basically 22 health, right? But if I play two of them, those numbers get bigger. That buys us a lot of time on Divinity. Now, it doesn't help us later on, but it's fine. I think it's okay to take that play. I think it's okay. Now, I almost feel like I would prefer for the greater good here in sort of a weird world. It's not a great pick because I already have a minus two target. They're not bad though, right? The units are pretty okay. You can get stealth. You can get melee weakness to the floor. You could get, I don't know, rage. It's a lot of weird stuff. And you can also just get random units that fight for you and actually do respectable damage, which is okay, I suppose. It's not a bad addition. Hmm, I'm not sure how to feel about this. The likelihood that we miss both Incan Armor 2 and a plus 25 is pretty slim, and basically trading 
the plus 25 here doesn't feel right. It's actually a single sap stone is not as good as a plus 25. It's what, 22, I think, is the number of damage reduction. Now, granted, that's AoE, but Siren, Siren's the only one that's going to get hit. So it's maybe okay. Huh. This is a weird one. I wasn't expecting to roll into this on ring six, right? For the greater good is a fun card here that I think isn't bad. It's not bad, is it? Let's take it. Let's take it. I don't think it's bad. Because we're not overstacking here, right? I think that's actually a super relevant element of this. What am I cutting if I buy a removal here? I could buy a foregone power cut now. We have two expensive cards, and it's unlikely we hit remove minus twos on both. But I'm really not spending a lot of ember on everything. It's like what well, glimmers, one goes away, ice storm, and then a couple other things. We have cloning root seeds. So I think I don't think there's actually a lot of value in taking the money in the middle, admittedly. It's kind of foregone power here. I think that's pretty decent. And then we're going to move on. Yeah, I'm not even... I don't need to save my money for here. We're not going to take this. I think we just chill on Arcus and we're fine. We're going to have a little bit of a weird floor because I am going to spawn a million men in front of si the floor, but it's fine, right? Now, I actually, there are only one space, so I literally can play this, and that's okay. Let's put some frostbite on the floor, I think. Yeah. Now, watch this. You put one man. This dude is actually legit, right? Now, I could have pushed him. I could have played this in a different order, but I wanted the encant. It's kind of a weird situation, but it's fine, right? I'm not mad about this. Yeah, it's okay. Bottom floor is okay. We need these incants, right? Yeah, we do. All good. Now, he's just gonna shoot some guys, which is fine by me. Is this... Is this incant? It is incant, so... Root seeds for money. Absolutely. We got a buff here. Absolutely. Let's hit that. It's a really good turn, actually. Unfortunately, my man is actually, in fact... Uh, stealth for six rounds. Gross. It is what it is. Is this my incant turn? Sure is, buddy. Sure is. Let's get that shark back downstairs. We're clearing it. Go ahead and hit that urchin spines downstairs here. That feels good. I guess I could cycle of life here. It's fine push 130 here it's probably the right choice my best spell so all right fine then we'll sting i could finish with the siren song four days it's something okay it depends on if we yeah all right never mind fine all right we just chill i guess it's okay cool all right a bummer of a turn but it could have been much worse Take money here, energy siphon in back. I'm gonna prioritize. Yeah, we prioritize these buffs here. I'm actually getting a lot of value out of Mr. Guy up there. He's just kind of shooting away, which is fun. It's pretty neat. I am making a lot of money too, right? This is a great pickup. So that's nice. I am going to incant a whole bunch. I'm playing for the greater good. Sure, buddy, he's got a damage shield. That's fantastic. And I guess he heals the floor. Sure. Play the Glimmer, and then I will just keep incanting. We want a buff in the back, so I need those stats up. I'm a big fan of... <laughs> I'm a big fan of this. This is just a weird play. Now, this... I think we're in a great position here. Right? Let's think about this. Yeah. You hit that Glimmer right now. And then we freely Siren Song this man out. They're both goners, 100%. Now, this is relevant mostly because it means we've got a couple turns of days where he's just taking Frostbite. 
Nothing wrong with that, yeah. Now, the stealth, of course, makes this a little bit of a bummer, because it's wasted somewhat, but it's fine. The heal might be better downstairs, actually. Possibly. Hmm. I think it is, actually. We get a whole extra round here, 138. It's worth a lot of damage there, because he gets two hits. And then we'll just elevator this, I think. That's all right with me. It's a fair pickup, I think. We'll keep buffing. I get more money. Incredible news. Let's sting. I'll take the cycle of life, please. It's not as important to glimmer here, but I might as well, right? I'll keep encanting. I think it's the right call. Drawing nine cards here. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, for the greater good again. Great news. We get spikes on the floor. I even earn more money. Incredible work. Look at how weird this is, but it's super good, actually, right? Because like, he has to hit these guys, and then he explodes. For the greater good's a weird card, but sometimes it's pretty decent. Adaptive Mutation Deep Offering is pretty much always good here. We have so many zero costers. Yeah, pretty much always good. I will take space. Remember, I'm trying to jam three units on top floor. Yes. Now, we're not taking card draw. I realize that, but we have the offsets for it, right? We have stings. We have root seeds. We can make this work. We're going to the right because I think we need to. All right. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to hit that cave first. It's possible we see like a tiny stone here, in which case... I guess we could play mid, not mid floor. We have lights gift. It's kind of a weird circumstance, but another plus 30. That's really good on ice storm, by the way. I guess we'll look at the cave first, right? Gift of gratitude. Heaven's gold actually is a very weaponizable relic here because of money maker root seeds. I like that a lot. Heaven's gold it is. It's a good pickup. We're going to definitely have money going into Relentless. Or not just Relentless, but Divinity in general. Titan Channel. Yes, Titan Channel 3. Big man. I want him basically to do 2,000 damage to Divinity in Relentless as needed. We're going to go Siren Dupe here, which powers us up in a big way for this coming combat, right? It's Siren Dupe. Now, you might think, should I do the Infusion now? I can do it later, actually. Right? It makes me stronger for this particular combat if I don't. And then I am, I am going to plus 30 this Ice Storm. Absolutely. Big spell. Yeah, we chill on this. We have a Ring 8 infusion we can do. It takes the 160. I'm duping it up to 175. That's pretty much where I'm going. And then if there's value we get from this, we might hit 200 and make it a train wreck. But we'll see. Yeah, let's go. We should confidently defeat this combat. Armor will be dicey, but it's okay, I think. This means that we're probably going to leak something. It's a good turn one. We get both sirens out on the important turn. Great news. I'm going to toss that urchin spines out. We might need that, right? Might need that for sure. Shark here, good. Toss some frostbite down. Incant upstairs. Incant again. It's good. Thank you, by the way. Winged Steel. Very cool. Big fan. I was going to say give me Glimmer or give me Death. I'm glad they gave me Glimmer here. Very important. It's actually a really good turn. Preserved Thorns. Big Stings. Then I can... What is this, 22? I maybe could have done this in a slightly different order, but I think we come out ahead. We almost get the kill. I actually think we could have if I had been a little more cognizant of that and saved 10 health. But that's okay, I think, right? It's all good. Now, this turn is, for the greater good, heal Titan Sentry. Titan Sentry middle. For the greater good, burst. Actually, we want to play out to pop Stolgard in case we get a buff here. Ah, interesting. Enemies get melee weakness one. Right, that is an option. Then we send the Glimmer here. I think that's good. Bam, bam, bam. Great work. We go hard. Don't, don't click the Siren Song here. It's a bad call. 
power of icicle fracture real quick doing a lot of heavy lifting get that titan sentry killed i think very good we're gonna do big buffs here earning money on the spot i'm a fan i'm gonna send the glimmer for sure here hit that ice storm what can i possibly roll into there's a lot of zero costers in here but I'm gonna just send the Ice Storm here, I think. And then we can Siren Song and he's super dead. Right, cool. And then we can hold on to the Deep Offering for later. We Elevator Shark here. It's a good play, I think. Our goal is basically to kill that Conduit eventually. Should I actually keep playing the Glimmer? It's a good question. I don't know if it's that important. I do want the for the greater good here. Hey, that's huge. Damage shield up front. This guy's going to take a hit. Love that for me. This guy's doing a million damage. Woof. I'm going to hold on to the glimmer I've decided. We play this downstairs, and I think we actually do better. Right? I think the incants are important here. Yes. We need these stats to get up. Yeah. Now, I will confess, we're not drawing as fast as I would like. Fortunately, Winged Steel helps a bunch, but, you know, it's not ideal, right? And we're actually super fine here, which is sort of an odd realization. I think part of this is actually the boy up front, right? He's doing a lot of good heavy lifting. Wow. Really? Gets through it without only taking the damage shield. It's honestly pretty good. I'm very impressed with that. We ramp our damage pretty big time here, which is nice. How do you feel about Ice Empire? It's not Ancient Synergy. It's a little too expensive. Ice Empire is a solid pickup. It's one cost, but it's a good spell for a single target blast. It takes a tendon piercing well if we see it. it takes a plus 30 well. I'm going to take this. I like that. Yeah. All right. Fine. Now we can take in Snare. Okay, sure, good. And now we should ramp and power a lot here, right? I'm expecting some jumps. Minus two is really good. Cycle of Life is strong. Although what if I put it into for the greater good? Doesn't really matter who gets this. I'm actually gonna put this in Cycle of Life. It's the card I always wanna play here. Yeah, all right, cool. The Tendon Piercing, that goes into Ice Fire, big plays. And then now do the thing we know we need to do. We're gonna infuse Siren into Siren here. Absolutely. I'm gonna look for defense here. Quick, no, spin that wheel. Spin that wheel, Incan Armor 2. Now, I don't love it. You may ask why? How in the world am I not losing my... Oh, wow. At the end of turn, frozen cards are reduced to zero until played. That's pretty cool. Here's your question. Ten hit points. I'm drawing hmm, only six cards on turn one. How am I encanting my siren over the death zone? Hmm? Isn't it just... It's weird, but isn't... Oh, man, it's a bummer I took this. Should have taken the plus 25, huh? It's true. What if... <laughs> Here's your thought. Here's your stupid idea today. What if large stone? I don't like that. I don't like that, but 40 health, good. How are we winning turn one? I don't have intrinsic. I don't have double stack. We are relying on drawing fast, but I don't really draw that fast. A lot of things that are not great here. I think we have to take something. Incan Armor 2. The problem is we have 17 damage divinity here. So I actually genuinely believe that we want 20 health here. I think so. Is Large Stone correct? And then you dupe something else? That seems crazy talk. That seems like absolute crazy talk. Now, what if you don't play the sirens on the first go through? 
That also seems like crazy talk. Titan's Claws is not bad, but I don't think it's good either. Doesn't really help what I want here. Faulty Loader. No, I want things attacking Shark. It's not like this is penitent. I mean, the problem is this is going to look really good against Seraph, and then Divinity's going to go, oh, hey, wait. And then if I high roll the draw on Mr. Siren Song, we'll be fine, but we might not. I'm going to re-roll this. We might just buy a bunch of removals. Oh, yeah, actually, Hammer Chest Plates is a big swing here. And I'm going to take Totem Fragment, too, because that basically turns every single one of my big spells into Big Nuke. Now, that helps, right? That gets me 15 health. Sounds crazy, but I only need two incants now to survive turn two, which is pretty decent. There's a lot of cards that can help with this. We're drawing six thanks to Winged Steel. Honestly, I think that this incant armor two makes this work. Right, we only... It's, it's very, very, very unlikely. I just draw only units on turn one, and if that happens, I just have to blitz. Right? I just have to blitz. And we have things like Deep Offering to help with that. I think we go in on the Siren of the Sea number, the Incan Armor 2 here. Yeah, I think so. And so be, honestly, it's entirely because of that roll, right? That plus five health that we can afford to do this because the math just doesn't check out as well. Make another one of these things. We do get double removals, which is fantastic. I'm a huge fan of that. I'm going to cut Forgone Power 1 and Forgone Power 2 here. I know what you're thinking. They're free, but really I'm trying to accelerate fast. I need to draw fast here, and these slow you down big time. You could keep money for Heaven's Gold, but I'll earn money in combat. I think the better play here is almost certainly to draw super fast here. So even the one cost root seeds is good. Steel Enhancer is great because that's actually a plus six health incant, which is great. Anything that consumes is fine. Could be deep energy siphon. I don't hate the foregone power here because it's only the one. It's the only discard I have. So it's just the last thing you play, right? Just fine. I'm going to cut the energy siphon. We got that spell fragment, totem fragment, right? Yeah, let's cut Energy Siphon here. That slows me down. Don't love it. Cool. 26 cards. All right, that helps. Now, the, nothing, the next removal is pretty good. Can't take another upgrade here, right? I don't have anything fancy. So we get another removal, nothing else. And that's okay. I could keep it for damage, but I don't think it's right. This removal, I guess now you cut Foregone Power, right? We just want to improve the likelihood that we hit one of our big spells or siren song and this is slowing me down these efficiency pickups those are worth it right these are good pickups to improve the state of my run this is a train wreck episode i'm glad hopefully you're all enjoying it let's go blast seraph to bits i'm not worried about him seraph is no problem half of his floors are dead to what is it called shark the other half are dead to light's gift see these early turns are the real spicy ones you got to watch out for yeah True. What did I draw? It's a decent one. I'm not mad about it. Toss some crystalline seeds down. Get rid of some of that damage shield. I will hit him with the ice storm here. It's a good play. All right. Incant. Fine. He comes upstairs. The sap's going to be annoying. It's okay. Shark can go live downstairs. Great news. Let's just buff here. Oh, Siren is a nice pickup here. Yes. We'll blast, and I think that's fine. Cool. We get through the damage shield. It's good. We're going to get sapped down, but I think we'll be okay. Right? I think so. You have to understand, we incant much quicker now that we have... Yeah, we incant really fast, actually. Yes. It's good. Holding on to cards is nice. Ember is helpful. All right, drop in the shark. It's good. We go for the buffs here. Fine. I'm going to take some health. These are great incant turns. Yes. You hit that glimmer here. Yes. 28 frostbite. We hit that siren song and we're chilling. Right? 
Yeah, 54 damage. My man is dead for sure. 429 into the boss. Yeah, Seraph is gone. I'm not worried about him one bit. He actually has to sap downstairs now, which is fun. I wasn't expecting it, but all good. We should be more than good here, right? Yeah. Just play big spell, big spell. Very cool. We sting out. This is a really good turn. I hit that deep offering. Very cool. Big buffs. This man's already exploded, so I just send him to the Shadow Realm. Great. Hold on to the Ice Empire. He actually, because he was rooted, he didn't go up, and that's fine. It didn't matter one way or the other. How am I feeling about Shark Middle? What if I Shark Bottom? It's a good question. I don't really know, and I don't know if I care. Shark Middle is fine. Sure. I'm good with that. Buff some stuff. These are all perfectly fine. Getting a lot of value here. I'm going to play it this way. And then we get the for the greater good, which is nice. We get a sting and we push an extra hundred here. That's pretty okay. It's actually nice that we hold on to cards like this, right? I'm a fan of that. He goes middle. Sure. I could blast middle, but it's not bad that this passes away, in my opinion. Yeah, I think this is fine. It's big Glimmer here, that's pretty good. We double Sting here, and that's fine. Root Seeds is good. This guy in the back is dead, and that's cool. We finally get the turns to play the big spells. Let's play the Glimmer downstairs, because we're gonna Elevator Shark, and I don't feel like dealing with this guy. And I'm gonna play the Ice Empire just to Incant here, and that's fine. We should definitely win this combat, yeah? Elevator Shark. It's good. It's great, in fact. Fantastic news. Draw cards. Yes. Now, there is a strong argument for ensnaring downstairs, and I will do it. It kills the Dark Wings outright, which is fantastic. Earn money. Yes. Doesn't really matter if I, what I do here, so I'm going to play for the greater good again. What did I roll? What are you? Sycophant? Oh, yeah, I get buffed. <laughs> That's funny. These are very entertaining, I think. All right, let's sit Shark down here. He's doing good work. You want a Glimmer? It's a good card to play, yeah. We'll definitely do it. These back units are beefy. Look at this, 252 by 2 in the back just chilling. A huge fan of that. I'm not elevatoring this guy because I do not feel like having to deal with three spikes damage upstairs. We should have no problems here, right? We definitely win on this fight. Yeah, and then you just hit him with that Ice Empire for a cool 420, which is great. This looks weird because half my floor is dying, but you really need to understand that he's only getting through some of my For the Greater Goods guys. He's not even getting through, you know, 400 health guys in the background here. So he was never a risk. The big risk here was always going to be Divinity. Always going to be Divinity. Now, blank pages help. We'll click that. There's no downside to this, so... If I, in the worst of cases, I have such a bad draw, I can't play a Siren on turn one. Maybe we hit, like, I don't know, Brawler Prince or something. He'd be kind of rough, actually. He has no survivability. We'll see. There's options. This is actually a ridiculously good turn. What, what? Okay. One, two. It's actually a crazy good turn. We hit Deep Offering here. Ooh, how do I feel about this? I think it's right to second Siren here. Yes. It's gonna be weird, but I think it's right to do it. It's a very good turn. Hit a Glimmer and feel better, I think. Okay, actually the best play is hit a Siren Song and feel the best. Tethys? Spell weakness, that's funny. I am gonna hit Siren Song upstairs. Big swings. All right, Shark goes middle, absolutely. I need him to actually clear stuff here. It's good. Let's, what, Ice Storm downstairs? Fantastic. 
Take some health. Buff. Keep buffing. Everything upstairs needs to be played here. Root seeds. Does Shark die? Yes. Get him, Tethys? Yo, Tethys lives? What? It's cracked, actually. Big incants upstairs. Fantastic. Let's drop what? Let's hold this Urchin Spines, actually. Ah, uh hmm. It's good to hold on to that for a mini boss, even if it hurts my card draw, right? I think that's a true statement. Okay. Oh no, Tethys, you're dying. I don't know if I care. Let's Elevator Titan Sentry here. Yes. Yeah. I already cleared most of middle, so I'm not afraid. We get a sweet glimmer upstairs, which is definitely happening here. Okay, these are big buffs. We've stabilized, for the record. I'm no, no, not afraid here. I am going to drop the for the greater good on this one. Sycophant's not a bad pickup. We'll chill with some of these cards we draw. Goodbye, Tethys. Shark doing huge heavy lifting downstairs. Cool, we get chains. This is getting my urchin spines for sure. I know, I want, I want to play that out, get that out of there. What if I shark middle? It's probably worth it, right? Yeah, shark middle is good. We buff upstairs, big stats, big fan. Okay, now this is a great ice empire, but I could also save ice empire for anyone keeping track. I could, it's an option. And then next turn you simply lock down, you ensnare the guy in front and we absolutely shadow realm the man up here. Yeah, so here's the play. It's gonna be weird, you're gonna like it. We blast one dude, great news. We blast second dude, great news. We hold on to ice empire. Our goal here is we're going to ice empire connect to the mini boss and he is gonna have a very bad day. You ensnare middle and we chill. This is a fantastic siren song because these floors are dead anyway. I don't have to think about it. Look how much frostbite they have. Thank you, shark. Trample penumbra. Okay, bud, get him. Look at him. He hits. He does it. What a good turn. Incredible news. This guy's locked down. Absolutely terrible day for... Absolutely terrible no good day for the divinity and this mini boss. Look at this, this is going to be good. You're going to like this three-turn planning I did. I am a genius. Hey, wait. Get off my train, you goon. Incredible news. Rejuvenate Sentient. You know, not a big fan of that, but I guess, what, I could glimmer here? <laughs> I could glimmer middle and it actually, I guess, kills a man. All right, you know what? Fair. 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 Okay, we are gonna sting, sting here. Our plan is weight of contrition and then shark. Shark who I guess goes middle. So he actually passes away. Oh no, I take one damage. I'm not upset about it, it's fine. Mid floor gets glimmered out. We have space for the next unit, which is fine. Who do I get today? Shark tail queen, well that's not gonna be very good. It's a very good glimmer upstairs, however. That's nice, pushes like yeah, like 500 to the boss, which is great. Let's see. We're going to play all this stuff out. Ooh, I could hold on to Ice Empire again, right? Glimmer Middle? I'm not really happy about this Ice Empire business. Or rather, the Pyre Wings. I think I need to Ice Storm Middle, yeah? Cool, good. We'll shark downstairs. I guess I'm gonna sacrifice the queen up front just so she dies. Sure, why not? And then we root seeds upstairs so we lock Ice Empire down on the floor for the mini boss. We do it again, right? We do the exact same thing again. How much am I? Do I have any frostbite on these guys? No, it's a bit of a bummer, right? That is a bit of a bummer. Taking a lot of damage from the spikes here, too.
Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. I was thinking this could be a siren song or turn, get some more days plays, but we definitely eat a little bit of dirt if we do that. I guess you can actually make this work. You pop the front dude, then we don't get the steel slate KO, which is maybe suboptimal if I'm being real with you. I'm gonna pop in front first, then we can glimmer here and that's okay, I think. It's okay to take damage, right? I'm not mad about it to do it. We play Shark out. I do want to play him. Yeah, so actually, what we do is we ins we Ice and Pyre the mini boss, and we hold on to Siren Song and get that Siren Song next turn, which is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and lock down what? The tank and bottom, and we chill. Cool. We're actually getting a huge work out of this Icicle Fracture for anyone keeping track. That's great news. Absolutely incredible. I think we crush this, right? Shadow Realm the boss. Great. He's actually alive, which is, you know, not something I expected to be true. Fair, honestly. That is not what I expected to be true on this particular moment. I don't need to do anything too fancy, right? You could Siren Song here, but what if I just... You could just Siren Song next turn in Relentless, but I actually think I just win anyway, so don't overthink this, right? Here's a buddy. Yeah, there you go, champ. Whatever. Seems good. He shoots and then dies, and it works out. Rejuvenate Sentient, meanwhile, is still here, so that's fun. We just crush. I'm not afraid at all. Yeah, it's fine. There was never really a doubt. And then you hit that ice storm and we clear the entire floor. Great work. Go team. Now, I used to be very afraid that you couldn't Siren Song like this. He actually can't be lifted here, right? So you're actually not that worried about it. I'm still not going to click it because there's no reason to. But we win anyway. But still, you don't have to. You could click that there and that works. So I have been told. I've never tried because I am scared. <laughs> but I'm not going to risk this run and this win streak on do I know how that one nuanced mechanic works. So my plan there is don't click it. I win anyway. I'll click it on a run where I need it to win. Pretty solid. Feeling good about this run. You know, I think the for the greater good actually did a lot more value than any of those other upgrades would have in that instance, right? We're, of course... There's a universe where I had upgraded the Sirens with a plus 25 and just given up on this back at like ring three or whatever, but I was specifically holding out for the Incan Armor 2. And there's always the risk of that when you have Divinity at this many shards, but the Self-Infuse does a lot of heavy lifting with that plus one, plus one. Big fan of that, actually. And I actually really liked For the Greater Good. Plus, I think it resulted in a little more interesting of a run. It's not often I actually take this, unironically. I think it's a good addition. And yeah, it's good. I want to give a big shout out to Winged Steel here for being my only draw relic. The difference, by the way, between six card draw and five card draw is hyper massive. It's a humongous improvement. I don't think we do this specific line without that pretty much right we're gonna something is gonna have to give without the winged steel right i probably i might even actually consider not putting soul guard on the floor and just doing double sirens withdraw and throwing soul guard away i know that seems a kind of anathema but the reason we're doing it is because i, I need to draw cards it's very important Winged Steel compensates for that in a big way. Six, you know, think about my greatest example of this is always the 30 card deck, right? Six times through, six card turns to draw through at five, five turns through at six. That's big, right? How many turns are in a combat, right? Usually like nine if you're the Divinity. Or I think you get more on, I think you actually end up with, what is it? 11 if you play top floor Seraph. So... That's basically what two full card draw throughs or less. And that's a big deal. So it matters. What else do I want to say? Big spell damage payout, by the way. It was correct to take Tethys scales. Thank you. Thank you, people in the comments of the past who convinced me. You know, Sinner Salve, 
I like it because it cleans up some of those combats, right? It cleans up things like chains or penitent or absolvers, but without seeing any of the bosses that lean into them, if we had like, you know, diligent plus curse fell, I think I probably do take sinner self there. It's a huge swing for those combats. But in the absence of those bosses, I don't I think it's got to be the Tethys scales, especially with the opener that has ice storm and double glimmers. So we're going to look for payouts here. Now, we eventually got the really sick Ice Empire that we were using to absolutely send Chains and Steel Slate to the Abyss, but uh, really good stuff. So I'm actually very happy about the spell weakness interactions on this run. I think they added a lot of value. And yeah, Accidental train wreck episode. Incredible. Uh, we all love that. Everyone loves Accidental train wrecks. It's happening a lot more and more these days as I become more confident at high shards, right? Now, do I feel like I have to do that? I think I can win this run at 100 shards, no problems. I don't think there's anything we picked up here that is mission critical. But understanding the higher shard power levels enables me to get some more density on strong plays, right? I actually think this run is much stronger at 200 shards than at 100, thanks to things like minus two cycle of life and random minus twos and other things to make them free and tenon piercings and plus 30s and all that goodness. So good stuff, all things said. And we ended up with a lot of money, which is fantastic with the heaven's gold, thanks to, you know, plus 35 gold on a root seeds. Incredible. It's not that great, but it is helpful. It adds up. Now, I don't actually think much leaked to the pyre. We were sending some things up with your friend Ice, it was it Siren Song, but otherwise pretty clean. Nothing else to add, really. Yeah, great. Go team. An incredible win. It brings us up to 256, a power of two. Uh, wins on the series. Someone will get that joke, I know. Uh, anyway, I'll let you go there. So hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. Uh, as always, you can give the video a like if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.